Serena, obviously this has been, this whole thing with Naomi Osaka has been the hot topic for these first few days. And I appreciate what you've just said. You've only just really found out about her withdrawal. But when you look back over these few days as to all that's transpired, what are your feelings and thoughts about it? Do you think it shouldn't have happened or, or what's, what's your view? The only thing I feel is that uh, I feel for Naomi. I feel like uh, I wish I could give her a hug because I know what it's like. Like I said, I've been in those positions. We have different personalities um, and people are different. Not everyone is the same. Um, I'm thick, you know, other people are thin. So um, everyone is different and everyone handles things differently. So, you know, you just have to let her handle it the way she wants to in the best way that she thinks she can. And um, that's the only thing I can say. I think she's doing the best that she can. Serena, in the Naomi Osaka statement, she mentioned her anxiety and depression that she has suffered in the last couple of years. As a general comment, do you feel enough is done by the WTA and the Grand Slams to help tennis players' mental health off the court? Um, I feel like, um, you know, there is a lot of, like, uh, articles and stuff that they put out. I think you really have to step forward and make an effort, just as in anything. You have to be able to make an effort and say... Um, I need help with A, B, C, and D and talk to someone. And I think that's so important to just have a sounding board, whether it's someone at the WTA or whether it's someone in your life or maybe it's someone that, you know, you just talk to on a weekly basis. So, um, you know, I've been in that position too, and I've definitely had an opportunities to talk to people and just um, kind of get things off my chest that I can't necessarily talk to anyone in my family or anyone that I know. Um, so for me, um, you know, it's important to have awareness and make that step. Serena, you've um, been very cooperative with the press over the years. Yet, you know, when you were young, you were very, very shy. Were you? Was it difficult for you to get used to your role, especially once you started to win big? Did you ever come into a press conference or feeling really super anxious about it or or concerned? Um. Yeah, Peter, a lot. You know that. Um, many, many of them. I've been into where I've been very difficult to walk in those moments. Um, but, you know, it made me stronger.